hi guys so today i have a few bits that i picked up from um the boot a boot sale that i went. so these are a few bits that i picked up from a boot sale um some of them i picked up a couple of months ago and some of them i only went to a boot sale about a couple of days ago i think it was thursday so yeah i just want to um to show you what i picked up i'm really excited um so the first things that i have here are some dyes and these are christmas dyes so i just thought this one was really cute this little bambi one i call it bambi but it's a little deer um and then i also got this a little robin oh it says they're festive robin and it's a tattered lace dye i think yeah this one was um a tattered lace dye as well a baby fawn and it was free from obviously some magazine or something um i also picked up these uh sheena douglas christmas words i've got jingle i've got twinkle snowflake and a sparkle and i actually started um cutting some of those out so we'll have a look at those in a minute i've also got this one i haven't tried putting it this one together yet um, but it's a scenery die and you get the outer piece you get this the bit that they slot into so that it stands up and it's also a christmas one it says christmas greeting so it's like it makes a christmas i forgot what they called is it diorama i can't remember those type of cards that they're called but i thought that was pretty neat i also got this one and it says collectibles so these are the other bits that are in the um, collection. But I have the, again, it's a snow globe, but I was just really interested in the circle dies. So uh, stacking, nested, that's the word I'm looking for, circle dies. So I thought they would come in very handy. And I could also use it to make a shaker, which is what I love making. And I also bought this one. This is another tattered lace uh nested snow globe set and this one actually has the um base and everything all together and you get some bits of holly some snowflakes to decorate and so yeah i picked that one up um something else that i got was some bits of i saw this actually right at the end um i bought them all from the same store um i generally don't see crafting things that when i go to um, a boot sale so um, these couple of times was quite good, actually, that I was able to pick up some bits. Um, I got these festive ribbons, Christmas ribbons, and they do, I think, yeah, they have the wire on the edges. So this one is really beautiful. So they came in the bag like this. And, um, and yeah, this one is like a starry night, really lovely and glittery. I think this one is actually my favourite. And then there was this one with the Christmas candles and some poinsettia with some ribbon. And then um, another poinsettia with some stars and some bits in between. <laughs> I don't know if these are supposed to be streamers, but they kind of chain them together. And they're all like one meter long. So I thought that would be good for Christmas. The bits that I got um, a couple of months ago. And the first thing was this. Which was, well actually I have three of these different ones. You can see it comes on this like long strip. And you get two small ones. A medium size and then a large one. Um, this one had one missing and I think the other one had some um, one piece missing as well but I didn't mind that because I really liked these larger ones and actually as I um, was using them I actually grew to really love this one as well this small one at the bottom so I have uh, embossed them out and I can show you what they look like so this this that is this one here which I really love. And it gave a really deep emboss. So I really love that. Um, and then also a larger one, the A2 size. Really nice. Just the, I think it's called Damask Pattern. It gave really good thing. And then this last one. I'm calling it the Medallion. They, they call Actually, they call it Medallion Circle. And it came out like this. 
really gorgeous i love 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 how these came out so that was the first one from and it has this um flower design and then the bottom one was missing and then there was this one that had this i call it like a water uh, wave and they call it swirls and waves and then this one that said fun and then we've got a dragonfly and a sun so i'll show you those this is the water waves one um and the flower one really like how that one came out and then i didn't do the other two but what i did do i had some of these little pre-cut butterflies so i put those through with the embosser and then they came out like this which i thought was really really cute i like the way that they came out there so i can use some ink to color those however i like for my project was the main thing that i got on the day which is this huge huge well i say huge it's one of those um slim really useful boxes you open it up so it's absolutely filled with inks now when i saw this i thought the guy because it was a guy and he had all different things he wasn't a craft store or anything like that um if you know what boot sales are like um i'll just insert something in the corner over here of what and people set out stools or a blanket and basically yeah they take the stuff out of their car boot and they sell it and it's usually maybe sometimes in a school field or a, just a field or something like that a school playground or you know somewhere with lots of space and so i asked him how much they were each and he said a price i think he said like three or four pounds each so i started going through and think picking out the ones that i um thought i'd like and then i realized that some of them were open some of them weren't open a majority of them weren't open so i asked him how much he would want for the full box anyway he added up how many they were and to be honest i can't remember how many he said that were in there this side alone is 21 so I think there was like, like over 30, late, maybe over 35 or so. I don't know. There's some of these smaller ones in here. Oh, it's not, it's really close. I'm sorry about this. And then there was these handful of these smaller ones. And again, these are not opened. I think that was all the smaller ones. There's four smaller ones. Yeah. Um, and there was um, the archival brilliance and, um, and stays on inks in here. And to be honest, I still haven't gone through the full pack and seen. Um, this one was on top, so I think I opened it and just saw if it was still inky, and it was. And I thought, well, if some of them are dry, it's okay, you know, it's not a big deal. And I'm sure there'll be lots to have fun with. So, yeah, and it was around 20 quid, which I thought was a deal. And so, yeah, I said, I'll take it. And then he said he'll throw in the box as well. So, um I got to keep the box as well so it was a really good good bargain and as i said i haven't gone through them so um i probably will go through them and just test them um, test them out and show you as you can see the the majority of them are are actually just sealed so this one's open this one is um pearlescent sky blue so yeah this one um like, oh this one's very wet i don't know it's got condensation in there so i'll go through come back and do a little swatch and have a look at the colors together so yeah that was really i was really happy about getting that so i have um just dry cut out those um sheena douglas words so this is jingle i like it love it oh look at that for christmas that would look so cute on a car so we got uh, twinkle Cute. oh i love this one with the snowflake so i'm gonna have a go at maybe inking some of these up actually i've got this one is open as well ice blue so let's try a bit of ice blue hmm. this one oh it's a really light shimmery shimmery color i don't know if that's gonna pick up at the darker one should really get another brush probably but let's not worry about that 
Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it makes me want to hit it with a bit of pink. I wonder if there's a pink in there. What's this one? Coral. Shall we try that one? Let's grab a brush. Oh, yeah. And it's really sparkly. So, yeah my um little bits that i've picked up from the boot sale let me know in the down in the description below if you've already used these um archival brilliant i don't have any of these ink pads so it's going to be loads of fun um going through that little box and seeing what colors are in there don't forget if you like this video to give it a thumbs up press the bell if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos so once again guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.